This episode is brought to you by Pearl Abyss. Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today, we're gonna to be building the most devastating weapon we've ever built on this channel, and that is from the brand new character, Nova, from Black Desert. The design on this character is absolutely flawless. Everything from the wonderfully elaborate armor that she wears, down to this weapon that we're gonna create for you today. To get the build started, we first have to make our massive striking head of our weapon. To do that, we're starting with some 3 inch round stock. It's the largest piece of material we have, so we're going to leave it long and start by upsetting it underneath the power hammer. Forging a ball may seem like a fairly simple thing to do. However, it's quite complex. You have to make sure that you keep your material rotating just right to make sure you don't get any cold shuts or flat spots that would throw off the symmetry. With the ball now forged to shape, it's time to start putting in the hole that will allow us to attach the sphere to the shaft of our weapon. To do that, we're gonna start with a hot punch, the same hot punch that Ilya uses on all of his forging hammers. We'll then proceed to use a series of round, tapered punches to create the final shape of the hole. The head of our weapon now created, it's time to start moving on to making the haft of the weapon. We're going to be starting from a one inch piece of square. We're going to start by upsetting the end to create more material on that end. So when Ilya goes to the power hammer, he has more material there to create the proper shape for our termination. game, the handle has a very distinct twisted look. However, before we can twist it, Ilya first has to turn that square stock into round. To create a lot of the transitions and terminations, Ilya is going to use several different spring swages underneath the power hammer. Unlike a bladed weapon such as a sword or a dagger, the true tool against an armored combatant is a blunt instrument like a war hammer or a morning star. The true 
magnificence of a blunt weapon is the pure force that it delivers binding the opponent's armor as well as crushing the body that's behind it. Two of the main goals for Ilio on this project were to create both the handle and the head of our mace, completely in the forging with no grinding whatsoever. Job well done. It's now time to start forming the bolster of our weapon. This not only divides our handle to two parts clearly marking where one should hold it, but it also works as a slight handguard. If someone was to strike the handle with a sword blade, that portion would catch the sword blade, stopping it from slicing your hand. Fitting with our all forged handle theme, the bolster is now driven onto the handle while it's hot, and when it's cooled, it's on there permanently forever. No need for welding or pinning. With the two main pieces of our weapon now forged, it's time to start creating the devastating spikes that will be attached to the ball. We're going to be creating these spikes out of H13, which is an air hardening material. That way when we go to attach them, we can heat up the ball, put the spikes in, and as everything cools down, that H13 material will stay nice and hard and will auto temper as it cools. Making one of these spikes is no problem, however we have to make a whole bunch. So once again Ilya's made a couple different swages underneath the power hammer to help him duplicate the shapes over and over. While Ilya continues to forge all 18 of our spikes, I'm going to go ahead and go in the grinding room and start grinding on the spikes that are already forged. H13 is naturally an abrasive resistant material. That means if you don't use fresh belts while you grind it, the material is not going to cut at all. Weapons such as this are ubiquitous throughout history and cultures for many reasons. For example, in medieval Europe, very often the clergy would use a morning star because they were technically were not allowed to shed blood, so obviously crushing the opponent's skull is perfectly acceptable. In Eastern Europe, for example, there are two weapons that are symbols of status, the saber as well as the scepter or a mace. And you can look at the regalia of kings where the king has a scepter 
and an orb. The orb symbolizes the power the person has over the land, and the scepter symbolizes the authority to distribute violence. When Ilya forged the spikes, he used a special half-inch swage to create the actual neck of each spike, creating a perfect half-inch round shape. That means when we go to drill the holes into the round portion, we're gonna drill them just under half-inch. That way, when we hot-fit the spikes into the hole, they will cool slowly and they'll be solid in there forever. No need for any welding. Now that all of our parts are forged and finished to shape, Chris is now going to assist Ilya by using a special top tool and driving the spikes into the round portion of our weapon. That top tool has a negative recess that matches the tips of our spikes perfectly. That way the spikes won't get dinged or messed up at all throughout this process. Well, that build turned out to be as beautiful as it is devastating. If you're looking for a great MMO RPG, be sure to check out Black Desert Mobile. It's also available on Xbox and PlayStation. And don't forget to check out the brand new character class Nova that's out today, December 22nd. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, That Works, to make sure you don't miss out on any of our future builds.